turning into a bunch of snow here. So let's see what happens. Significant amount of slipping. The FSD beta <laughs> take over immediately. Love the chase and the hunt and I set the pace when I'm running I always take what I want and I always give it 100 Don't need a bank, no I'm funded Play the game like it's nothing I'm always thankful for something Don't Okay, take so for here we go, we're gonna jump right into the FSD beta testing We're at a stop sign right now No cars are behind us, thankfully uh, We do have our destination set in here And as you can tell, there is a significant amount of snow I would say about 3 to 4 inches on the ground So let's engage autopilot and see what happens Creeping for visibility right now, making a right turn at the stop sign. Residential area here. Again, a little bit of a slowdown. I'm interested to see how the FSD beta turns. I was driving a little bit this morning. Now with this dual motor Model Y, if you don't have a Tesla, it is incredibly able to handle snow. Going down a little bit of a decline here, and it is slowing down to a relatively good stop. I was a little bit worried about slippage. What I was saying is I did some testing this morning um, just driving the car myself and I did notice that on some of the turns it would slip initially um, I am gonna set the speed limit to the maximum speed limit um, I might even go lower depending on how much slipping we get in this test coming up here to another stop sign turning left on a larger road out of a residential area full stop here there was some slippage there. It looks like it's gonna try and creep and then go to the median. Nope, it's gonna go straight through. So there was a significant amount of tail end slippage there, but the FSD beta was able to uh, counter steer and it was really, really interesting there. So again, going up above the speed limit, I'm slowing it down just because I wanna be more cautious. Um, again, this is all packed snow here, so I just want to make sure that the FSD beta has plenty of traction, so we're just going to go the posted speed limit. Now, of course, it is very challenging for the FSD beta to see any lines here, but it looks like it's still able to correctly predict where it needs to go, going straight through this intersection with a lot of confidence. Really awesome to see. Again, moving that down to that 30 miles an hour here, and really confident heading through here very impressive i want to do a couple more turns and i'm trying to do these slow turns because uh, if you remember back there when we were turning out of that residential area onto a side street there was a significant amount of snow and i think we're going to get the same thing where the tail end wants to fishtail out and i want to see if the fsd beta again is able to correct that steering turning left here on this side street slowing down turning into a bunch of snow here. Let's see what happens. Significant amount of slipping. The FSD beta <laughs> take over immediately. So it did do a good job getting it correct, uh, but then we did get the takeover immediately. So it came into that way too hot. So again, I'm gonna slow it down. Let's try to go about what I would do as a normal driver. I would go about five under, maybe even more under, especially in this residential area. I think that um, me as a human driver in this amount of snow, I would just play cautious, especially in a residential area. Making a right-hand turn, it's definitely hugging this curb over here, although it can see the entirety of the road. Again, a little bit more slippage. The tail end was fishtailing a little bit, not like that last turn where we got the takeover immediately, um, and it was able to correct that little bit of turn. But uh, as you saw there at that, I think we are going 30 miles an hour-ish, um, when it went to take that left turn way too sharp, definitely um, with this snow on here and it was fishtailing and I was getting a little bit worried that it was actually gonna slide into that curb on that last turn. Right turn coming up here again at this 15 mile an hour, I think it's able to um, really, oh, but now we're getting the <laughs> autopilot is ending. So it's slowing down significantly here, but I think at this speed, it's really able to manage the road. Okay. so. Not a lot of driving going on here. So I'm gonna press the accelerator pedal to continue. And I'm gonna go ahead and end trip. And we are just gonna do a FSD roulette. So you can see we are in fresh snow. No cars have been here. Still going 10 under just to be safe, especially after that last takeover immediately. We do have a parked car up here to the right. So we'll need to go around, which it is planning on doing. This is kind of a weird left turn. 
getting way too close to this car for my liking. And now making the right turn, significant slipping there. Again, way too close to the curb for my liking. A little bit of adjustment there. Um, I'm not sure if it almost thinks that this is a center line here because of the tracks in the snow, although it is not. This is just a residential area. It is definitely hugging this right side. Again, really hard for the FSD beta to see, although uh, as the human driver, I can see where the curbs are. Um, it, it also can see where the curbs are, but it thinks there's a, a yellow center line, as you can see from here. So significant slowdown to a stop here. I think definitely the snow tracks on the road is confusing it a little bit. Coming up here to a T intersection. Going straight through, again, fresh powder, hugging this right side of the road, almost on the curb now. I can see where the curb is. And it is accurately predicting where the curbs are, but I think it's hugging this right side because um, it sees these tire tracks almost as lines in the road. Now going nice and slow, making this left turn. And you can see that these tire tracks are really confusing the FSD beta as to where the heck am I supposed to be? It almost sees it as lane lines, um, which will flash up periodically if you look at the center display. So a significant amount of snow here in the road. I'm gonna push the brake. You can see that somebody shoveled um, out their driveway just so I don't damage the nose of this uh, Model Y. I'm gonna go around that and then um, why don't we turn on this road? It's a little bit less traveled. And I'm gonna engage autopilot again. So it's almost like shifting size of the road now. Very confusing here. And really kind of very confused. So going back down to that 15 over, Again, wanting to really hug this side over here, although it is accurately depicting where the road is and where the curbs are. Making a right turn at this T intersection here. So it's gonna come to a full stop. A, a lot of slippage there. And now it is making this right turn and very limited slipping. Another, that's the second time we've seen it today. Uh, can't wait for the version 12 of the automatic wipers. Hopefully that neural net is a lot better. Obviously there's no precipitation on the windshield and the wind, windshield wipers, that's the second time they've gone off. Stopping at this stop sign, making a right turn. Another car coming from this way, plenty of space. And it does make the right turn. Again, that back end is fishtailing. I know it's probably hard to tell in the video but the FSD beta is able to autocorrect that. So not bad winter driving, although I think it is throwing us off a little bit in terms of fresh snow with only one tire tracks. It almost um, thinks that those tire tracks are lane lines um, versus here where it's all kind of packed down. You can see the plow's been through. It's doing a really fine job um, staying on the correct side. I think there is lane markings in the center of this road here, uh, but it's not depicting here because I can't see them either. But oncoming traffic here and doing a great job with very limited vis visibility on this road. So I am gonna slow down at least to the speed limit on this road. It is making a right lane change here and it looks like it's going to get into the right-hand lane. So again, in this snow over here, human driver would not do this. A human driver would not be in that snow over here. We would be where it was plowed. Okay, so stopping visibility, making a right turn, no traffic, and very confidently fishtailing that back end there. Fishtailing again, but able to depict uh, really nicely that there is two lanes here from map data probably, but it's doing a great job maintaining that right lane position. And I think it's gonna ride out this lane. It does merge and go back to one lane. So really excellent job by the FSD beta. Super impressive. Previous software updates were terrible at the snow, awful. Um, and as soon as like just last year, I think I tested this 
um, FSD beta in the snow and it did an awful job. Now with the Model Y, this is doing great. Again, dual motor, I believe last year's test was with a Model 3 uh, rear wheel drive motor. It is on almost on the wrong side of the road here. Um, I am gonna have to take over if some oncoming traffic come um, and I am gonna slow it down here. So really hard to depict the lane lines. Um, and I'm gonna go ahead and disengage to make a left-hand turn here. Again, we're just doing FSD roulette. I have no destination set. So um, you can see a little bit of slippage here. Me as the driver, um, I'm driving around here. So you can see just how slippery these roads are. And I'm gonna go ahead and engage that. And we have some oncoming traffic. You can see that it thinks we're on the right side, although I think um, we need to be over a little bit, kind of where the tire tracks are. Oncoming traffic definitely makes it easier to see. And now you can see kind of the ruts here. Uh, although now it wants to ride over in this part of the lane. FSD beta too far to the left. So just trying to help out the F the FSD or the autopilot team at Tesla help them improve the system because I know uh, most of their testing is in Texas and California where not a lot of snow happens and uh, most other countries and states also get snow so definitely uh, some improvements needed here although I will say just from last year's testing there's significant uh, improvements in terms of how it's able to handle uh, the the snow and how it's able to see the road in the snow. An excellent job here. So again, it's getting into this slush part over here, which I don't like. You can see where the tire tracks are from past drivers. Um, so we're gonna have more traction over there. Or going around this turn, I'm a little nervous here, but it was able to uh, properly complete that turn. So overall, from last year's testing in the snow, huge difference, very impressive in the FSD beta and its ability to actually handle that maneuver and handle that fish turnout. So it's going over into this slush area. I am gonna disengage right when I'm saying huge improvement. Uh, again, I wanna see it follow these tracks here uh, and kind of get over. I do have a car behind me now, so I need to be a little bit more cautious. Um, but of course, as soon as I'm praising the system, then I need another disengagement. Stopping a little bit further back, I believe the white line is kind of right up here. Light turns green and the car is ready to go. I want to see it go. I'm pushing the accelerator now, giving it some encouragement and I get the take over immediately. So it was a little bit cautious there. Um, and I think because it was a little icy and I pushed the accelerator causing some slippage and that's what we're, uh, the FSD beta gave me the takeover immediately. So again, it's trying to come over and we do have oncoming traffic. Again, trying to come over and I guess it is correct um, in its lane position from seeing the edge over there. But I would like to see it ride in the track versus ride in the correct lane position because right now we're in a significant amount of snow here. Okay, let's see if I can get this out before it does something uh, it's not supposed to. Okay, kind of ping-ponging now. There is no lanes, really ping-ponging. But I do think that this is an improvement, especially over the snow testing that I did do last year. I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Thanks so much for watching. Share this video with a friend. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button. As always, I'll catch you guys in the next one. See ya.